Alright guys, this is Doc M with another Minecraft video and I'm joined by Method today. He was somewhere. Oh, hey. there he is. <laughs> and yeah, we wanted to show you some farming concepts, like little fun quirky things you could use in Minecraft 1.11. And it considers the entity cramming on and also uses here these cool vindicators renamed Johnny um, to do the killing for us. Um, if you didn't know, if you take a name tag and grab a Vindicator, you can find them in the mansions and rename them. They will become aggro to pretty much everything. So we thought it would be fun um, to make some animals farms out of them. So we have a um, chicken farm over there, we have cows and pigs. And yeah, the whole principle um, of it is you would come up here and you have these three chambers with cows. Um, and um, the cows, they contain always 24 per chamber. And yeah, you can see if you breed them with a setup like we have here, the cow, baby cows always get shot out like instantly. And therefore, you don't have any entity cramming um, problems. Because, you know, um, if you have entity cramming on and if you are like me and think, man, I really want to play pure vanilla and using the command um, or the game rule to turn entity cramming off is kind of a bummer and I would love to play like completely unchanged Minecraft. That is an option, you just have to spread out your breeding chambers a little bit. But as you can see, um, the baby cows would fall down into this chamber there and the Johnny doesn't do anything. Right now it's funny how they track me because I'm holding the wheat. And yeah, when you're done with the breeding, you would just simply flick this lever here. You could also hook that up to a pressure plate or whatever. And now the baby cows are contained in there. Now the trick is, as soon as those cows grow up, um, the Vindicator can see them, can reach them and he would kill them. And then automatically your loot would end up in here. Um, with the pigs it's kind of the same principle. You have these cl this glass pane below then a thaw uh, block of water and then the trap doors like that and there's also 24 um, pigs in each chamber and yeah the baby pigs just got you know flung out and shut out and then eventually um, washed down by the water drain here and yeah when all the baby piglets are washed down let's wait for a second here they sometimes try to fight because they want to get to their mommy and yeah, then you just flick the lever again, whoop, and Double flick. yeah, <laughs> and what what happened now? Oh, we we triggered it super fast twice. Okay, here we go. Um, yeah, now the babies are trapped in there. As soon as they grow up, once again, the vindicator will be able to reach them. Um, over here, it's also an interesting principle, kind of using the same trick with the trap door and simple egg farm. Um, so yeah, you have let's say 10 chickens sitting up in there or so. Um, not a crazy amount. You can go, obviously you could go up to 25 here before the entity cramming kicks in. And as soon as they lay an egg, go through this dispenser setup and the baby chickens get dispensed up on this half slab. As soon as they grow up, the Vindicator will be able to see them and kill them. So yeah. That's that and I'd say we wait now a little bit and we show you the growing up um, of the animals and how the killing works. And there we go, the killing has started. <laughs> Cows are starting to grow up and yeah, they pop out of their holding chute as you can see right there. Some stay in, some pop out and the yeah, Vindicator goes to work, killing them relentlessly. <laughs> really nice. Well. <laughs> Animal killing is not nice, but Vindicator working um, and automatically killing stuff is a nice little feature there. So yeah, we bred the cows first, the um, pigs should be next. Let's see if they start growing up. Should happen any second. Come on piglets, start growing up. Yeah, he killed there all the go. cows, so that works. Here we go. Here are the pigs popping out, and it doesn't matter if they stay in the in the chute down there, or um, 
you know, they pop out on the pass blocks here. There's a small difference we'll show you between both farms. Mm, but as soon as they grow up, they will slice and quickly and they pack a punch so they one shot all the animals um, instantly. So yeah, easy peasy, they grow up and indicator goes to town on them. Works really well. <laughs> it's automation, man. I like it. It's gimmicky. It's fun. So yeah, we have a little chest here where all the items then get transported to. We d of course, you can use a normal chest, but we wanted to use some 111 stuff, so it's a Shalco box, of course. And yeah, eventually um, we have to keep an eye out on the chicken over there. Those are... Yeah, he's he's looking at something now, he sees them. Sometimes they take a little bit to track the animals, but eventually he will go there and kill them. Sometimes their pathfinding takes a bit of time, but yeah, he will get them all. And yeah, let's see if we have some chicken growing up. They should start, ah, just in time. So you can see here, um, one grows up and he sees it and slices it immediately. So yeah, works just fine. And now we show you how to build some of these things. So the chicken farm don't need like a build tutorial. It's very easy. You just have a dispenser here facing into this half slab and then the trap door exactly like that. You know, um, on the block where the vindicator would be standing on. Then you remove the block, put the vindicator in. Just take some chicken, put them into um, this one by one up here and here you have another trap door to yeah, keep the chicken contained. You could also use a cauldron to put the chicken in and then you wouldn't need this roof block here. But yeah, this is uh, the simple version. And then um, you pretty much just read out the signal with this comparator here, go to a sticky piston and an observer block facing this observer block. And yeah, maybe method you can uh, toss some eggs in so you can see what happens. So as soon as the egg goes in, comparator detects, puts down the piston and then creates a fast clock here. And then we have a rail here that updates this observer which is sitting yeah, right below the dispenser. And that's it. Very simple build. Um, fun little quirky thing to do. You could also compact the redstone, but we wanted to use some 1.11 features here. And yeah, I think that's pretty clear and easy to build. Alright guys, so let's build the cow farm and then we can do a slight modification for the pigs. But pretty much you start up with a 9 wide, 3 high wall that can be anything you want to. And make sure to come out two blocks here as well. And then best is to start off with your hopper setup. So you have your chest or your shalko box there. And then you just um, connect all these hoppers here. If you're new, hold shift if you place a hopper against a hopper. But I guess most people would know that. And then just connect them, make sure they all face into each other. And um, you throw in some half slabs here. Um, after that, you can build the wall up behind here. And yeah, it's three high as well. So you have this nice cube going on. Just like so. And then you take trapdoors. And either you have a full block here to help you or you place one trapdoor and place another trapdoor and make sure they open this way and then you can remove these trapdoors again. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then you go in, break those or you use helper blocks, whatever you want. But it's important that these trapdoors all open towards this direction. All right, so now you have the trapdoors in and it's time to wire them up. So you go to the lowest um, block here and then you just place your seven repeaters like that and another row of blocks behind and some redstone dust on top. Connect all the repeaters and if you have a lever here now, you can test that. You can see the trapdoors are reacting to that through the block. You update them and yeah open and close them. That's very simple. Um, then you can, if you want, frame that in here to protect your redstone from the elements. <laughs> and then you just close that off like so. 
for now and you end up with this. All right, next up, you probably want to close your Vindicator area here. Just do it like that and then you need a bunch more trapdoors. Hold shift, place two of them on top of each other like so. Best maybe you go through like that and then step back a bit. Do the same thing, always shift clicking on the trapdoors and you just open them up. That is um, so you align the pigs properly or the cows and they fall into the pit like you want to. And yeah, now it's pretty much time to build up a little bit further. Now you would start building your pig enclosure here or your cow water enclosure. Just like that. Come around and um, up to here. All right, when you're done with that, um, it's time to make the cow breeding um, cells and get the water in. So you place three blocks uh, right here and then you put a glass pane on top here. This is where the animals will sit and you can already chuck the water in. You only need two sauce blocks here in the corners and that creates a nice flow for all the animals to be washed to the front. Um, next up, you can build up your wall a bit higher. Um, say two more blocks, just like that. And you can also have blocks here. And you go one, one row higher with that. And then it's time to place some trapdoors to hold the animals in place, or better say fence gates. So the easiest way would be because uh, for fence gates you always have to place them on top of a block. You just create these cross shapes here with some helper blocks of your liking. Um, just like that. And also you need it here. And then you grab some fence gates. Let's do that. Um, whatever color you prefer. And then you would just pop them down like that. In this pattern. It's like a cross pattern. And then you make sure to break out the helper blocks below again. Like so. Make sure you don't break the trapdoors again or the fence gates like this because it is annoying. But they have a good hitbox so you can get by. And then don't forget to open them all up. And I would suggest you have them facing all in the same direction, otherwise things could look like a bit derpy. And yeah, you end up with a little something like that. And last but not least, um, you need the blocks that will hold the cows in check. So pretty much you could, if you want to, use some half slabs, but if you just build something like that, that is fine. And yeah, that pretty much completes the cow breeding setup. Minus the water you have to put in. So just click on the window panes like that. And yeah, that pretty much completes your breeding setup. So now if we get some cows, you would drop them in from on top, of course, breed them somewhere else and then slowly load your cells up. Mm. And yeah, cows can be in there now. As you can see now, if you would breed them, they would not pop out instantly. But um, if you have a sufficient amount of cows in there, um, yeah, it's, it works fine. But that is also an advantage because you can start these cells only with two cows, then keep breeding, they will grow up and eventually you reach your critical mass and um, everything will be fine. So let's toss a few more in breed them up like that and eventually yeah here you see the baby cows are already falling out and of course you would repeat this process for all your cells and last but not least obviously we need a switch um, to turn the farm on and off and there's uh, several methods uh, you could do that we will show you one a nice why uh, why a nice way to wire that up would be using a lamp and yeah the observer block updating from the lamp. So you just place the observer block like this and put a lever on top and that would output you an uh, observer signal. And yeah, then you use another full block here and a piston like that. And last but not least, a redstone block here. 
And now you just make sure however you want the light to be. Um, now pretty much light is on. That means you would be ready to breed. Um, as soon as the light goes off, um, the cows are trapped down there. So make sure before you breed, have the light on. And it's a nice effect here with the observer. Um, maybe you can trigger real quick method so we can see that. If you flick the lever, um, you get a short pulse and it leaves the block behind so you have a toggle flop here or a T flop. Um, and yeah, and then last but not least, you can close that off here a little bit to make it look a bit more pretty. Obviously leave that gap free over the piston. And um, right here, if you wanted to, there's of course other ways how you could get up here. You would place some ladders so you can climb up easily. Um, to your machine, maybe here some too if you want to, or whatever you have it sitting. So yeah, that's the basic setup. Last but not least, you would um, catch a Vindicator. Um, easiest way would probably be a minecart. Um, so it makes sense to build this thing close to a mansion you probably found. Or um, yeah, if you want to go hardcore, you can put the Vindicator in a minecart and transport them wherever you want via the nether or uh, build a really long rail, but uh, I would suggest you use um, minecarts to just transport them through the nether. And yeah, so Vindicator then needs to be dropped in here and you need to make sure to name him. And yeah, he's attacking stuff already, so he's a Johnny now. Make sure the name tag is like that, Johnny, J-O-H-N-N-Y. And that makes him aggressive to all mobs. Yeah, and that's it. Ready to breed. Farm is closed. As soon as the cows grow up, they will be killed and all your loot ends up down here via the hopper system. So, redstone wise, very simple build. Now, we quickly show you the modifications you need to do if you want to farm pigs. Alright, let's do the modifications for the pigs. It's very simple. Um, you just come in here and rip out your half slabs and you have to use pass blocks but you still need half slabs you just scoot them over to here and place them down pass blocks um, easy to obtain just get some grass blocks in there and hold them so that's the only modification you have to do in here and then you can get your vindicator back in and put him back to work so vindicator named Johnny Boom, boom. So that's fixed and um, you have to change the cells up here slightly as well. A good way to do it is just, you know, come in here and you need some trapdoors and now you pretty much just replace all the fence, oops, that was a fail. You replace all the fence gates with uh, trapdoors like that all the way around. Man, I'm I'm failing a lot with clicking the right blocks right now. Uh, 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 can't get the trapdoor. Here we go. <laughs> Can you fix the glass? Yeah. And you just uh, put it in like that. And that is a working pixel now. Instead of the fence gates, use the trapdoors. And of course, you do that to all of them. And now, if you do pretty much the same. Get your pigs in there and as soon as you reach critical mass, around 24, they will automatically pop out as we showed you above. And yeah, that's all the modifications you need to do to make this work for pigs. And I'd say we wrap up this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section. I'll try my best to answer them. And yeah, that's that. Um, hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, share this video and we're out for today. Bye.